Today's topic will be gate design and runner design. We will talk about a little bit uh, theoretical how, how to design the gate number and your gate location and how to we practice in our studio. So let's get started. So our outline would be four main points. The first one would be why optimizing gate location is such important in mode design or injection molding. Second would be uh, model 3D tools for gate location designs. The last one is the case study and conclusion. So we just quickly start. The first section will talk about how to design a gate in injection molding or mode design. So uh, why we need to design the gate locations? So for uh, maybe we need to talk more about basic knowledge about injection molding. So injection molding is surrounding in four main topics. One is materials, machine, uh, ma and your mold, and also the process conditions. So if you put these four section into consideration to do the revise, then the last one, the last efficiency of uh, revise is process condition approximately maybe five to 10% uh, room can help you to uh, get a better quality. So uh, maybe you need to go to the very top uh, factor that will affect the injection molding. One is the mold design. And the mold design includes very many, many things like the gate, the sprue, the runner, your ejector, your slider, uh, every component in mold design uh, is very important. So today we just take uh, gate to be our topic because in studio or in our software, we can design de decide the gate numbers and gate location and use our CAE to run many uh, revised uh, design. Like you can use our studio to decide where you need to put your gate. So the topic is uh, how we determine if this gate is good or not. So, um, so we, let's see what we will happen in the reality. So in, in reality, our products were facing some defects like short shot and well lines. 